a story of tragedy turned to triumph, thanks in part to Pix7 News, an unsung hero, and according to some people, help from a higher power. Statues damaged by vandals at a Lower East Side church are as good as new again. Pix11 James Ford takes us down the year-long road to this moment. As you see, this is a well-protected place of refuge, but when that protection and refuge were violated, it was tragic, but also the beginning of what many here call something miraculous. They're gleaming waist-high statues of three children who saw a recurring vision of the Virgin Mary in Fatima, Portugal, while watching their sheep. But what you see now is very different than a year ago. That's when somebody climbed the fence and the barbed wire outside Our Lady of Sorrows Church, where this grotto is located, and destroyed the statues. It was so upsetting. Jackie Bissano has attended the Lower East Side Church here since she was nine, and she works here now. You're the one who we called uh, the Cardinal King. <laughs> and so um, that really made a big difference. PIX11 News reported on all of it, and watching at home, was Paul Mayorana. I reached out to uh, Channel 11, who gave me uh, Father McNamara's phone number. And I said, listen, I, could, I think I can fix these things. I'm pretty good at it. It would be possible to put these back together. Paul Mayorana owns a t-shirt printing business, but has been a sculptor since he was trained by a local artisan when Mayorana was 15 years old. He had the pastor bring the shattered sculptures to him. He brought them and they were in a million pieces. I got it together. I, uh, I, I reinforced them with, with uh, steel. And uh, I called the father up and said, you know, come pick them up. That took months of work. But now the statues are back in their home, secured tightly to the cement below. Guy put them back together for us, and we just paint them and just put them back in it's place. It's looking great, man. It's They're looking good, right? And once again are serving their purpose as a comfort and inspiration to the community. It must have been divine intervention. <laughs> there you go. Well, we're having a lot of that today. I use that gift to, you know, help others. It's going to help people. It's going to help their uh, mental health, you know, to see that there and, and you know, and pray and cry and whatever it is that they, you know, you want to do, I, I, that's payment enough. It could have been just another story and you guys decided to take it. And we thank you for that. People do reach out and it does give me great cause for hope. Right here on Saturday at 11 in the morning, there'll be the rededication service. The church says people of all faiths or no faith are welcome. Reporting from the Lower East Side, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.